Okay guys, so today we are going to completely unbox the Hello Fall Autumn and Halloween collection by Crafts Companion they brought for their today special. There were two editions, I grabbed both. The other one, the Sparkling Winter, we will try out later. But in my initial haul I showed you a little bit of it, so that's why it's kind of open. But um, today we're going to take everything out and make something. <laughs> Alright, so uh, if it's still available, I'll go ahead and link in the description box. Those will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission for your purchase. I am still those links. It says it includes over 530 elements. It is a lot in here, and I was really impressed with the thickness of like how the box itself feels. It's kind of more of a container than a box. It, you know, it falls apart, so like you can open it up. Um, it says Hello Fall on the inside there. Really cute. And then this opens up like this, and it has like a mottled look. So you open that up, and it just does have tons of stuff. So I kind of showed you a little bit of that whenever I had received it the other day. It came in super quick, but I wasn't able to get to the video until recently. Um, okay, so I don't know, maybe what I should do is put this to the side so we can see everything and I have a place to put it. So I'm going to put this over here and bring items out and we'll look at them here. So. Um, first thing here on top, there was a couple of different stamp sets. Initially, the stamp set was just kind of floating around outside um, in the box, but just over the top. And I was like, oh, is that an extra? But no, it's just part of it because the Sparkling Winter also has that. So happy Halloween, trick or treat, and then just some other eat, drink, and be scary. Happy pumpkin spice season. Happy pumpkin spice season. I said that in a weird way. Uh, so very thankful for you. Looking beautiful. Pumpkin kisses, harvest wishes. So grateful for you. Things like that. Um, let's see some embellishment items. I'm just going to grab things, but if they make sense, cool. If not, that's okay. So we had like the black kind of plastic rhinestones. We have like dots that are uh, half pearls in different sizes. Um, some twine and a little bit of black um, satin ribbon looks like. Uh, I'm just going to grab this pile here. <laughs> so then we have some little pumpkin um, charms really cute. I like to add those two like ribbons. If you have like a little bow and you can add it on there. I don't know that it comes with jump rings, so you're going to have to add them on however you can, but there you go. Um, this little set of die cuts, it looks like there are two sheets of them. So that's what it looks like. Already colored, you're just going to pop them out and they're like these little die cuts. Do you make like a little scene there possibly? And then we have these papers that are um, embossed. And I tried to show this last time, so let me see if I can... Let me see about my lighting. I'm going to mess with that a little bit. I'm going to take this out of here. I'll be right back. It's just when there's a lot of plastic, it's just shiny, and then the lighting's like, I do not like that. So, we have these pieces. <laughs> a couple pieces of white paper, and they're 4 by 6 I measured them last time. Cream color, and like this pretty kind of rust color. And maybe you can see it better on here, the little pumpkin. So it is embossed. It's not super duper embossed, but again, um, they do have a white core like the other papers that are in here, so you can definitely rub like a... Uh, nail buffer over it or something like that that you would like to use distressing tool and get that white core to show so it shows up more. Now these are the card bases and she had mentioned that they were like pearlescent and they are. So let me take this out of this plastic. I'm going to get rid of all this plastic. So much plastic. So we have this guy. Um, little kind of note card thing. I hope you can see pearlescent cream color. There we go. And then the pearlescent black. And these look like four inch square. Yep, four inch square. Four by six. And um, maybe six inch square. Sorry, it's so hard to tell the lighting because then it looks too blue. And then it is very pearly and very creamy color. Like right now it looks a little bit washed out. I don't know. I made it darker. I don't know if that helps. Let's put this stuff on here and maybe that'll help. Okay. Um, envelopes to match. Of course, oh, hopefully you can see there. See how white that is and how creamy that is. There you go. But envelopes for those guys. Um, okay, a stack of tags. Um, oh, this is really nice, high quality, like, as far as the um, weight of that paper. So let's see the weight of these guys. I would say... I don't know, less than 110 pound or less than 350 GSM, but sturdier than like 85 pound. And there's just a ton of these. And what's funny is like, I probably won't use these much. Um, I'll try to come up with something. Actually, that'd be cute to make like a little book too with a few of them or something because they're already die cut for you. So I kind of like, you know, layers. If I had another layer that was die cut already the same shape or something like that. Otherwise, I don't really know how to play with these too much, but it is kind of a different beige than this. This is very creamy. This one's more like a yellow. You can probably see that. 
um, and not shiny at all, not shimmery. Okay, more embellishment, little wood uh, veneers. These are pretty cute. They're not super thick, and I love the um, like the maple leaf there, and like the little pumpkins. Those are so cute and tiny. They're probably an inch or so, maybe less. Uh, black glitter, and it says black glitter, and it's ultra fine kind of glitter. Um, glitter paste. Oh, this is very pretty. I'm really excited about the glitter paste, so we'll try those guys out. Look at pretty, pretty color. Um, it says here what it might be called. It just says Hello Fall, I guess that'll <laughs> give you the name. Um, luxury Gilding Flakes. What I love about this is that it does come with the glue and the little applicator. The last time I tried their glue, it didn't work for me super well, so maybe the glue was old or something. I don't know. We'll try it again uh, whenever I do get around to this, if we try it today or not. But Luxury Gilding Flakes in the um, kind of like a, like a bronzy orange color. Okay, maybe copper? Let's say copper. That would be <laughs> the name I'm thinking of. And then uh, inks. And you know what? Like I said, they didn't really focus on the inks too much in the presentations or even when they were trying them out. So let's do this real quick in case I don't use them, you know? I don't know. I may. I may not. Uh, we have that. And I was going to say, let me see if I have stamps that uh, would make sense. <laughs> let me grab something. I'll be right back. Mind, I was like, I know I have a set of stamps that I recently saw that I was putting away because I'm trying to clean up around here. And it was uh, this set. So let's grab these guys. These are photopolymer stamp sets, and they come with a, a stencil. Love them, the Tim Holtz uh, stamps. So what happens is, um, oh, they smell so good. So Stampers Anonymous came back with some of the same stamps they've put out before, but they made them in little kits like this with a stencil, you know? Oh, actually, well, you know what? Let's do something fun. Okay, hold on. Do, do, do. Let's see here. This guy. Let's move this. This is completely not anything I was thinking about, but if we're going to use the ink, we might as well do it a little distressing with it, possibly. So let me open these guys up because they're all shrink wrapped. Oh, actually, they're easy to open. Sorry about that noise. It's going to happen two more times, guys. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh my gosh. That one had a little pull tab. This one does not. Why? Why is the difference? I do not know. <laughs> it's, oh, you know what? It's up here. Good. Uh, okay. All right. All right. So it's there. It's just in a different spot for whatever reason. This one is back at the bottom. What you expect? Okay. There we go. Um, hmm. Let's do this one. It says it's a shimmer ink pad called Pumpkin. This one's Forest Green and this one is Autumn Night. So let's grab Pumpkin. Ooh. Uh, Okay, <laughs> I made all those noises because it's shimmery, so it's probably pigment, and I don't really use my brushes with those. You know what I'm saying? I would like to use it for something else. Um, let me see if I can, yep, I was going to say, I think I might have some replacement heads. Yes, okay, so I'm willing to sacrifice one of these little heads on this diamond press guy. That will work for me. Let me put this other stuff up. I'm gonna start dropping things. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. Uh, so let's get some of that. Ooh. Oopsie. Good gracious. It's because I'm not ready for this, guys. Sorry. You know what? Let's cover that area up. So let's add a little something where I got that oopsie there. Ooh, wow. Did you see how thick that came on? I'll show you. Like that. I mean, I didn't have to dab this in there too, too much, but because it is pigment, you see I can keep spreading it. It's very um, thick. <laughs> and I'm trying to just get this one area. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like paint almost. It's crazy. Oh, too bad that it went this way as far as this is concerned. Okay, let's just leave it like that. It is very thick. <laughs> I was going to stamp the next stamp over. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but look at that. It is shimmery, and it is very nice. I suppose if we wanted to, we can go around and put some of this on the very edge here. Just a little something. Is there enough on there? Eh, not really. Okay, so that's fine. Okay. That is nice. Okay, um, let's try a couple of these guys. What I do with my stamp? Is it down here? It is. Okay. Well, let's go with the gr oh, it's green. That's right. It's green. I don't say gray, but it is green. I mean, that pigment is right at the top of that pad. <laughs> it's ready to go. 
Okay, I'm just doing this by hand so it might not look super great. Wow. I was apologizing already just in case, but look at that. Okay, um, I will use my stamp cleaner and all that, my little shimmy on that. In just a second, and so we have that guy, and then let's do this guy. Well, that's pretty already. And this one's the Autumn Night. Ah! Okay, first of all, I should be taking this to the stamp, but I was... I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Just flying by the seat of my pants. And thank you for all your well wishes. Yes, and everyone stay safe out there in Florida. We just had a little bit of telling you enough water to come in here to be a nuisance. So now I have roofers coming out, which we already pretty much signed up with one company, but they can't to do the um, solar and everything and redo our roof. So that's great. But I do have bids still because you got to get bids. And then I still have to get the inside of the house um, redone, right? The um, drywall put back. <laughs> like I said, I wish I knew how to do that, but here we are. Um, okay, that's really pretty. I can't tell the shimmer on that one, but it's probably because I didn't apply it like this, you know, where it's like thick. I can see the shimmer on this one. I don't know if you can see that at all, but very good. Okay, I'm going to clean up and I'll be right back and we'll keep going through the box. Project and then, you know, maybe with some of the sentiments that come in here, you can stamp on there or whatever, but something there. I wonder how long that takes to dry. It feels dry, but it is coming off of my finger a little bit. I don't know if you can see the shimmer there. So, maybe something you want to heat set. I don't know. All right. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm just going to pick up this bottom stack of items, which I guess I could have just done before. So, these look like matte layers, and they are also that pearlescent. Yeah, so pearlescent. just really pretty. Um, interesting that there are matte layers, like for this one, you know, the larger paper and then the smaller one. But then these guys are just what they are. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I was going to say this is three and a half inches. This one is three and a half pi by five and a half, I'm assuming. Um, and then we have these guys that are, uh, oh, I don't know how big this one is. Hold on, sorry. Five and three quarters and five and a half. So five and three quarters, five and a half, and then some other matte layers for like your original cards. The only thing is if you stack that with like this, you're pretty much covering all your embossing. <laughs> if you want to put those together, but something to think about. Okay, so we have those. And then these are really cute. They're just kind of, they remind me kind of of the better press um, sentiments or foil sentiments because you stamp them, you know, and then you cut them out and they have that really pretty look to them. So they do have, they're right around the lettering, which is cool. And I love that it's in the black and like an orangey or kind of rusty color and that beautiful green. Feeling blessed. It's all the same ones and then repeated, kind of like Hunky Dory does. Uh, here we have uh, die cuts. So again, everything's cut for you. There are no dies in here or embossing folders or anything like that. So this one happens to be super delicate and you can just pop that out. And if you have a little web, you can pop that out and you have the little uh, spider there. So that's really cool. Um, oh, this makes like a... I don't know if I'll ever use this, but it makes like a gift box that's like in a triangular shape so it's their score lines there all you're gonna do is fold those on the score lines and then glue them so it's not too um, crazy <laughs> but you're just folding them here so it comes out I don't know how to explain it but it just fold there fold there fold there and then glue them on these sides in like a 3d shape so Probably not anything I'll really get into. Um, cute little stencils. I could have used this with our, our inks there. So again, you know, you have your pumpkin or your jack-o'-lantern if you want to put the jack-o'-lantern face. You have a bat, little leaf, a couple different leaves. Leaves. And then these are just um, die cuts that look like on the edge die cuts. And again, I will take these out. I don't know if I'm going to take them all out, but I do want to see what's in here because they're kind of delicate. Usually once they're out, I don't try to get them back in here <laughs> unless you're super careful with it. Maybe pop them out and then put them away. So we have a creamy color and black. And I'll pop one of these guys out. Actually, that's... Mm, okay, fine. Let's go with this one. You can probably still get some of that shimmer ink and distress these a little bit because it'll show up on that black, you know? And then let's pretend you have this. Of course, that'll make a bigger card because now you've added this on the edge. And then you have this, so four by six plus this edge, you know, or on some of the other ones. That's really pretty. Okay. And 
And then we have, sorry, I put some of these things to the side. Um, this guy, which is a bunch of skeleton leaves. I know I think Sarah showed that, you know, you can use the glitter paste on them or like the, um, these other little guys. Maybe we'll do that just to try it out. So we have some larger leaves and some smaller ones. And then this one is just the same kind of thing. This one has basically, it's cut in the center, so you would put paper this way and paper on that side if you want to use it that way. You can push this out too, and then you have a little extra bat, so it's very delicate. Um, this is gonna come away from that background there. So we have it in the cream color and in black. It looks like there's three of each, you know? Um, this is really cute. So a little set of what would make you a box, basically. And so the box, by the time you fold everything, just, you know, fold them on the score line, glue the glue tabs, and you're gonna have your lid and your base, and I have, something extra there and your box is going to be like four I would say four inch box I don't know if this is the lid or the base so you know let's say about four inches and um, I don't know if these are two separate things like if this makes one box and then this larger one makes another box or the box is two inches deep and this is the lid that is um, one and a half, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if these are just separate things. But there are two black, two of the beige, and then two of the black and two of the beige in the other thing. So I'm going to try to measure. Yeah, because that is four inches. So I would assume they, it's box and base. Um, okay. And then look at these. So pretty. Um, your acetate, I mean, I, I thought we were looking at the back side of the bats, but that is the bat color. It's black and holographic, as you can see that. This gold foil. And Hunky Dory says, you know, if you want to turn over and use the other side, you have a different color. And sure enough, on here, the back is silver, because that's just the treatment, the way they put it on. The back is always silver. And so you can see the leaves back there if you want to use the silver side. And then, I mean, look at these bats. How fun is that? So yeah, you can definitely use it on one side or the other. Oh my gosh, this little vellum, how cute. So I see the pumpkins here and they are very foil and super adorable and like pushed in there so you can have like, you can feel it, you know? It's kind of like a, a letter press feel. And then behind there, you can see the back of it is the, um, the like maple leaf paper. Let me pull this out. I wasn't going to, but I'm gonna now. Hold on. Okay, how cute are those? They feel really thick, there you go. Cute. And then the papers. And they said these are super high quality, so let's check them out. I have a feeling they're still layering weight paper. It doesn't mean they're not high quality, but they're just not hev like heavy or thick. Yeah, for sure. I mean, look at this whole stack. And I can wiggle waggle, so yeah, it's definitely layering weight. And you get, looks like five of each, two, no, four, six of each. So, I mean, really great for like a book. If you want to make a memory book or something where you need a lot of maybe the same or your layouts like this or however. But again, it's not typing weight or printer weight. I would say it's a little thicker than that. It's not bad. It's not bad. Um, you know, when sometimes you get a kit and you're like, oh, this is really thin. It's, it's thicker than that thin. <laughs> but it's definitely not like 85 pound or anything like that. Um, so cute. Love the imagery on here. And then this one, again, you get six of each, so it'll be kind of easy to go through. I kind of prefer that than one of a bunch of different things, you know? Um, but anyway, so we have that one. It's a little, it looks like acorns, very stylized, or maybe it's not an acorn, but it looks like it. I don't know. There you go. Leaves and like the beautiful burgundies and really, really nice. And then we have this guy. You have your little um, spider there. I like the little spider webs and then the pumpkins all over and very stylized pumpkins. These jack-o'-lanterns, similar kind of like character but different in the colorways and everything. And then this one here, we have a um, little pumpkin down the corner and just really pretty and distressed looking. And then this one, again, more classic, I feel like fun. I mean, obviously there's a lot of layers. If you really look at all the designs that are on here, you see this gourd back here and like these leaves. And then behind that, there's like leaves that are even more faint. It's like a beautiful, like flower. I don't know if you can see that. And then obviously the leaves that pop in the front. And then look at this one with the purple. Really pretty. Ooh, I don't know what I want to do guys. Cause I don't know. But since I did pop out that one, I was going to go with something more fall, but now that I have this here and that's everything guys. Um, oh, and there goes my vellum. Uh, I think we're gonna use those leaves that we popped out. We'll try and play with the, we'll use this guy. And I left this paper out because 
I guess maybe we can make a larger card, like this six inch square card. And then we'll use this in the background. We'll see about some leaves and I don't know what else we can do, but I'll be right back. So I kind of changed my mind as I was putting this up. I was like, yeah, we can still go with the four by six. And that's closer to what I would normally work with. So I'm gonna use this cream colored one so that that black leaf area pops. Um, and I'm just gonna put this in the back like that. And this isn't quite six inches. You can see it's a little bit shorter, but that's okay because that part gets covered up anyway. So we have this there, even though I like matte layers, what I'm going to do is cut this paper. I chose a different paper. Let's make it more fall and have it like here. So what I just want to know is about how much paper does that need? Like one, two and a half. Let's do two and three quarters. Then that'd be out here, huh? Okay, let's go two and a half inches by six. And let's see what that ends up looking like. And then we'll do some of those leaves just to try it out. Just two and a half, maybe a little bit, a little bit deeper than two and a half. Okay, so I'm going the smallest amount by six. The little cart is very cute, the die cuts, you know, you can definitely put that together and have your little scene there. See what happened? I did two and a half and I probably could have done a little bit deeper, but that's okay. That actually, I like that. Okay gives you a little room to breathe on the edge, you know? Oh, I put this thing together with this because I figured since I already used it, that I was just going to live with it. And all I did was shove it in there and it stayed, so there you go. For another time. Okay. Um, trying to figure out how I want to do this. <laughs> if I stick these guys together first and I'm all wrong, what I'll do is just do this part first. And... Just getting some glue, making sure it's pretty much more on the tips than anything else. And something like that. And this is here. These guys, I'm just going to line them up out there and just make sure that's where I wanted it. Yep, right there, that's good. Now this guy. Ooh, let's see here. Yeah, as you're working, your mind is still like thinking about other things and I'm like, ah, because Matt is going to be busy this week. Conference, even though it's here in town because people like to come to San Diego, which is great. <laughs> so um, the conference is here, but he has to be there and I have to deal with people coming in and out of the house. It's my joy. All right, <laughs> there we go. Um, okay, so that's our very base. So what I'm going to do is pop out some of these leaves. I don't know if I want to start with black or just that cream color. Where are they? Uh, these guys. I really don't know what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> I just want to try out as many different little bits in here, even though there's tons, so it's not going to be easy to do, but let's pretend. Actually, I said I don't know if I want to use white or black. Um, they're only white, and there's only one sheet of each one, so, okay. I'm going to get this guy, and this guy. So I think if we focus on that, we have that background, maybe we'll just pop a sentiment on the top afterwards. So let's get a little bit messy with these guys. That one still has a little something there. You know, I don't know, something like that. And then maybe the sentiment here. Uh, we'll see. Okay. Uh, let me gather my thoughts and I'll be right back. Hey guys, I tell you, if it's not one thing, it's another. Um, I just got a text message. No. An email, which is even weirder, it should be a text message from Dorian's school. Apparently when people got up this morning, or like right after dropped them off and stuff. I saw my ring neighbors, because I'm always being alerted by my ring neighbors about different things, that the power was out around here. But I'm like, well, not here. So that's great that it's not here. But I figured out they'll turn it back on pretty quickly. And then we got an email from the school saying, oh, we don't have power here. So I was like, oh, oh no. Because it was just down the street, this person that reported you know, power being out. Um, but I figured out, oh, since maybe since we're by the firehouse, maybe that kind of helps us out a little bit. That, you know, they try, I don't know. Anyway doesn't matter. So Doran was already walking to school and I'm like, I'm sure it'll be fine. 
And then I sent an email to right now saying, yeah, they're going to cancel it because it was supposed to be back by 1030 and it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Okay, this little guy you kind of use to brush off. I wish, I mean, I guess you can do whatever you want. If I wanted this because I want to get this on here, I can dab it on here. But just use the other side. But that's not what this is for, okay? That's what I'm saying. So if you're going to stamp with this stuff, you can put it like on a plastic surface or something like that. And then get your stamp, you know, let's pretend you have a stamp on here. I put some on here, so then you can stamp it, the stickiness is on your stamp, it gets to your paper, and then you do the process, you know. But I don't want to get this all over my finger or anything like that, so I'm just going to put some on here. But this is basically, see, it's kind of weird stuff. Actually, you know what, I'll just do it that way. Let's get this going on here. I'm trying to cover the whole guy. Of course, I'm not trying to glue it down, but I do want to... So what happens with this stuff is you want to wait for it. See how it's kind of blue? What you're doing is you're waiting for it to turn clear-ish, and then this other stuff should stick to it. But if you did too little or too long or whatever, it's <laughs> problematic. So, um, you know, every company's formulation is a little bit different. I'm going to remove this from here. I'm going to put it, let's say, down here, somewhere where the glue isn't there anymore. And that feels actually, like, ready to go for me. That's not good because... We don't want to miss our window. All right. And then this stuff, sometimes we'll decant this into a bigger jar because what happens is, like, right now my AC is on. Hopefully it doesn't start blowing around. But you basically just want to take a little of this stuff. And just what some people do, they'll put, see, sorry, wanting to flow around. They'll put a whole pile of it. See how it's just staticky and great. What you're going to do is just take that and push, push, push. And you can start moving it. I'm going to go in the direction of the leaf that way because it feels like that's necessary. <laughs> but all these little bits you can kind of just push on. That worked really well, thankfully. Because I've had, I told you last time I used this stuff, I was like, what is happening? So I'm going to leave it like this just for a minute because there's extra bits that we want to take off, but I want to be gentle with it too. So I'm just going to take that. And again, you kind of just sprinkle it on generally is what you're going to do. I need more. And then just push it in, but you, know, you don't want to do too much because then you have to get it back into your jar. So I try not to get too crazy. Basically, you're just pushing it down. All over. And then when you do the brushing kind of like that, that's what cleans it up for you, you know, after you've pushed that on there. It's kind of burnishing it in a way, I guess. That was very easy, thankfully. That's awesome. Again, I didn't use the side that had the glue. <laughs> I'm trying to use this other side. There are some areas I can see that are kind of bare, so that probably means I didn't get enough glue there, but what are you going to do? Like right there. I mean, it's barely noticeable. Okay, I'm going to put these guys to the side. <laughs> and if it is very much worth it to you, you're going to try to get those little bits back in here. But to be honest, there's not that much left. And I mean, you can kind of get it scooped up. And everything else I just kind of wash off. So if I can get those little bits, let me see. Get that back in there, okay? And then I just wash everything off. You know, once I'm comfortable with the amount that I have saved here. <laughs> and that didn't even make it into the jar, but there you go. I will be right back. Really wash, wash everything off. This is probably set up now. It dries pretty quickly. But what you want to do is just get rid of that little extra excess bits. You saw those little pieces that are just kind of like around. So I'm just going to, again, go in the direction of the leaf to try to clean that up as well as I can. My son's going to be happy, I'll bet you. Um, he had a geometry quiz today, the first one of the year. And he's ready for it. And it was great, so that's awesome. But it's always funner to not have to take the quiz, <laughs> I'm sure. Okay, I'm just trying to brush this off. You know, being a little bit delicate about it but also a little gruff about it because you really want to get those extra bits off okay i'll be back fun. okay guys so now of course i have thinking about my son coming home you know what he deserves it the poor kid they had band practice all saturday it was an eight hour day and um he has pretty much band practice almost like every evening and so an extra day off that's that's fine um but i just want to show you like if you had something fancy like that and you put on your card base with some other stuff that'd be really pretty um i'm thinking maybe to make this more substantial maybe to repeat this and what i mean by that is 
I'm going to take some of these matte layers, if I can find them. That's interesting. Where's the matte layer? Here we go. This matte layer. Oh, that's a lot smaller than I wanted. Why, why, why? Let's go. Okay, let's not use that one. Let's use this one. This one that's. Yes, okay. So this is the one that is five. I'm trying to see what I want to do if I cut that down and then repeat it. Why is it so hard for me to think about right now? Let's see. Um, we have two and a half, and I'm thinking about taking a whole quarter. So let's do this, just the size this is. Um, it's five and whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, by two and a quarter, let me see how that looks. Two and a quarter. Is that about the right thing? Yeah, that's about right. It might be a little bit too tall still. How tall is this thing? Five and a quarter. And it was six. Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay. It's because I made that quarter, you know, that two and a half a little bit wider, if you guys recall. And then let's repeat that same paper. So this paper, I don't think I have any left over. Um, so it can be two by... Five and a half. Oh, this is already almost five and a half, so let's just leave it that way and do it by two and see what that looks like. Okay. Something. Okay. So, what we can do is now let me see if I want to just glue that down or do I want this panel popped up? Then we have these pretty boys. Yeah, see how that just makes it a little more substantial. Since I have these guys, I'm probably just going to glue them down. Oh, maybe we can glue them on here. <gasps> yes, yes. Okay. So maybe we'll pop this up just to get some dimension. But so right, now, right now, what we're going to do is just glue those guys down. I was trying to see, what did I do with my Nouveau Deluxe? Here it is, right in front of me. <laughs> All right. So have that. Oh, so funny. We finally got our, not finally, we barely took it in for a week, the RV. We got it back like literally the day these guys came and took the fans out. So I didn't need my RV, but I could have used it <laughs> during that time. I was like, cool. Um, okay, so we had that popped up. That's fine. But okay, let's pretend it's going to be up a little bit. And I kind of wanted to cover where that little area missed. And I, to be honest, I could put a little glue and then do whatever, but I didn't. So, nah. Okay. Let's see about these sentiments. Hmm. The green one is totally different, but. Um, harvest blessings. Feeling blessed, thankful for you. Let's do harvest blessings. And again, when you pop these things out, um, you know, they're going to have like, these little bits that hang these like this. If you don't like those, just take like a little scissor and you can just chuk, 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 or go around the whole thing and um, just nick those away or maybe even do some inking. It'll just kind of cover that better and it kind of flattens them out, but sometimes I just go like that and that's fine with me too. Oh, okay. Well, how about something like that? Okay. So, <laughs> I'm just going to put glue in the back of my hand, I think. I really get this guy down right here. Okay, I'll do the same thing with this guy and stick him on this top part and I'll be right back. Okay, so, I said we're going to stick that there and probably have this here. And just, you know, different mix of colors. I'm going to use my black <laughs> Anna Griffin. Um, 3D adhesive because I keep forgetting to use it. <laughs> so let's pop this on here. And then we'll stick down our sentiment. Um, let's see here. 
Have you guys, I know some of you guys have told me you've received yours or you only chose the one or the other. Uh, it's funny, all throughout the day they kept talking about how this one was going to sell out. It was selling out, the fall one. And I'm like, I feel like whenever they say that, it's because it's not the most popular one. <laughs> I feel like it's the other one. They want you to be like, oh no, and you know, fear missing out, right? But um, because they still have them left in the auto ship uh, where the Christmas one was sold out in auto ship. Um, so let me turn this over. But I don't know. Is that just me? I always notice that. I feel like whenever they're like, oh, this one, I'm like, hmm, that's probably the least popular one. <laughs> that's why they're saying that. But there it is. So pretty. And then maybe this guy kind of going out this way. And um, I believe both options are still available for single ship, but for the auto ship, the, um, the Christmas one sold out. Something like that. Okay. So see, this is where I would love to have like a drop shadow of this shape, but we don't have it because we don't have the die and we don't have anything else like that. So I'm um, just gonna put some on here. I feel like I'm going to have a little sneezy, guys. So I might have to take a pause. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay. Let me see if that's where I wanna put that. Yeah, for sure, okay. All right, so there's another card. We do have like, you know, the twine and things like this. I think this looks pretty just the way it is. You can put your little rhinestones, your half pearls. So, you know, we played a little bit with the ink because again, they didn't really focus on that or talk about it too much. So I wanted to show it to you guys. I mean, look at that. That's like so pretty, my favorite. Um, and then a card that's simple, you know, tried out some of the different items in here, some of the different techniques. So uh, thanks for watching guys. Let me know if you've been working with yours yet. Uh, if you had a chance to get to it, I know they're, recently delivered and hopefully yours are on your way if you haven't been it hasn't been delivered yet all right guys thanks for watching thank you again for all the well wishes everything's great no one you know was hurt nothing 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 like we were just waiting for that storm all day nothing happened a little bit of water came in and you got to dry out your walls so <laughs> i already talked about that before but i know people hear things here and there and miss different things in the different videos so thank you guys so much um just a little a little uh, stuff we got to take care of around here now but um be careful, everyone out in the way of that new hurricane out in um, Florida. My goodness. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I will see you all at the next one. Bye now.